In early 2020, Sky Yahoo Mail has written to customers advising that a number of popular email client apps will no longer function with their service. We beg to differ. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. Users of email client applications including Outlook 2010, 2011 for Mac, 2013, 2016 and Windows Live Mail as well as Apple Mail on iOS 8 or earlier and macOS El Capitan or earlier, together with several Android apps, are no longer able to receive mail via their Sky Yahoo accounts in early 2020. Sky advises that these older applications no longer meet current security standards and they've therefore chosen to no longer support them. And whilst Sky has provided written notice of this approach, for many the first sign of trouble will be the inability to access email messages in the usual way. If you're using a web browser to access your emails, and by that we mean Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox and others, you won't be affected by this change, which only applies to dedicated email client applications specifically used to retrieve email. Of course, there exists a risk in continuing to use applications which are deemed to be less secure, but what if you want to continue using your email app? Sky's advice here isn't particularly helpful, particularly with the potentially high cost of replacement in the case of Outlook. Thankfully, there's an incredibly simple workaround, requiring us simply to acquire a new 16-digit access code from Sky, then applying that code in place of the password we've previously used in our client app. Let's walk through that process, beginning with obtaining the password. The means to do this is not particularly well publicised by Sky, and we head to the link shown on screen now and reproduced in the written description accompanying this video. Assuming that we aren't already signed in, we'll need to supply our email address or username used with Sky services, and our password, before clicking to sign in. There are three points to note. Firstly, your existing password won't be wasted here, as you can still use it to access your mail via any supported web browser. Secondly, new passwords are assigned to devices rather than to user accounts, so you'll need to obtain a new 16 digit code for each device you wish to use. Thirdly, you can use different devices to obtain and use the code. For example, you can use a PC to obtain the code, then input that code onto a phone or tablet. We click next. We now have a four way choice between computer, tablet, phone and something else. Exploring each option, we see that computer divides into Windows, Apple and something else, whilst tablet offers Apple, Android and something else, as does phone. The something else category immediately proceeds to the show password option. The most important information here is that the password we obtain must be input into the email application on the device before closing the following screen, otherwise it won't work, although we do have the option to repeat in the event of failure. Clicking show password reveals the 16 digit password, which we should enter immediately into the settings of our email client app. If the app is on the same machine, we have the option to click the link to copy it, ensuring accuracy in the next step, otherwise we simply need to enter the code without spaces in the client app before closing this window. Now that we've obtained the password, we need to enter it into the client app. Sky have provided some instructions, and whilst we can't cover every client app, here are two representative examples. As there are four versions of Outlook on the list, we'll start here, using the 2013 version as our example. From the main interface, we select the file tab. At the account information screen, we select account settings, and from the drop down menu, we select account settings a second time. At the account settings dialog, we need to identify our Sky Yahoo Mail account. Ours is named Sky Mailbox, and is the only mailbox configured, although yours could be one of many, and will have an entirely arbitrary name. Either double click the account, or with the account highlighted, click change. The change account dialog appears. You'll notice that your account already has a password, and this is the old one which is no longer accepted. We therefore delete this password, replacing it with the 16 digit password obtained in the first part of the tutorial. Depending upon your configuration, you may also wish to check your outgoing settings, particularly if you subsequently receive a send error. At this point, clicking next will send a test message. If you receive ticks for sending and receiving tasks for this account, you've successfully restored access to your mailbox. You can now close down the web page containing your new password. Remember that you'll need to create a new password for each device currently using a retired mail app. If you're still having difficulties, remember that all settings for the email client need to be correct, as a valid password alone will be insufficient, so if your mailbox wasn't working before the password reset, changing the password won't fix wider configuration issues. 
We've supplied a link to Sky's mailbox settings in the written description accompanying this video. Moving to Android, we've mocked up a version of Android 4.4 in a virtual machine running on a PC. And to see how we did this, check out our tutorial linked in the written description. There's certainly scope for variation amongst different Android user interfaces, so the next steps should be considered a general guide rather than a specific set of instructions. Our native email client is shown here, as is the settings app which we launched to make the necessary configuration changes. We scroll down at the settings panel to the accounts section, where we navigate to our account. For us, this is via personal. We select account settings, moving from the default general settings and selecting our named account, once again scrolling down to incoming settings. From the pop-up, we see our existing password which we once again delete, replacing it with the 16 digit code which we've obtained from Sky. Note that you may well need to amend your outgoing settings with the new password in order to send email. If you found this tutorial useful, check out our back catalogue and be sure to subscribe to see all of our future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.